Moscow, January the 20th, 2013. Russia has started the largest naval exercises in the past few decades in the Mediterranean and Black Seas as the civil war in Syria continues to gain momentum. The drills involve task forces from Russia's Black Sea, Northern and Baltic fleets, strategic bombers, tactical aircraft, air defense units, paratroopers and naval infantry. The exercise will continue until January 29 and involve over 60 drills, including anti-submarine warfare missions, missile and artillery firing practices. The training may also include simulated beach landing and con convoy escort missions, as the task forces have four large landing ships and a variety of auxiliary vessels in their composition. Russia has faced heavy international criticism over its refusal to back UN sanctions against Syria, its last ally in the Arab world, over what is called the pro-rebel bias of some resolutions proposed by Western nations. Moscow denies it is backing President Bashar Assad and says it is concerned that the Libyan president's forced departure would only worsen the conflict and lead to the repetition of the so-called Libya, Libyan scenario. Simultaneously, at the same time, Iranian warships will be deployed to the Mediterranean Sea, the Red Sea and other regional waterways, Tehran Navy said on Wednesday. The move will put Iranian firepower at Israel's doorstep and likely raise tensions in the already skittish region. Navy commander Habibollah Sariyi said Iran's 24th fleet would be sent to points around the region to act as a show of force and counter threats to Iran, according to the semi-official news agency Press TV. Ships will be sent to the Mediterranean, the Red Sea, the Gulf of Aden, the Suez Canal, the Indian Ocean and Southern Asia, Sar Sayari said. I believe these current exercises in the Mediterranean are a perfect opportunity for a false flag attack where Russia or an American forces are attacked and the attack is blamed on opposing forces. This will spark a regional war in the Middle East which could include Russia, China, Iran and the UN NATO-led Western forces.